Hey guys, it's Sam and today I'm going to talk about some popular books. Actually, I think most of these are series that I will probably never read. I have done a series I will probably never read before in the past, so this is just kind of an update to that. I was thinking of some books that I would probably never get around to reading and don't really have any desire to read, and there were less than I thought there were going to be. I thought I would be like more of a role with it. It's just that there aren't that many that I feel passionately about never reading. There are plenty of books or series where I read through like a popular fantasy book that everyone should read that I'm like, eh, I don't really think I'll read that, but I don't feel passionately about it the way that I do about a lot of these that I'm going to talk about. So let's just kick it off with a bang because this is one of the two series that most inspired this list, and that is the Malazan Book of the Fallen series. This is a series that is very well loved among fantasy loving dudes mostly and women but like it tends to be in very like male centric circles and I just could not care less. I think it's one of those things also where since people are so adamant that like you must read Malazan to be a fantasy lover and fan I'm like fuck you I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> it just doesn't really appeal to me. I'm sure there's a lot of really good things about it and it's this like long epic series but there are a lot of long epic fantasy series that I really want to read. I want to catch up on the Brandon Sanderson Cosmere universe. I want to catch up on the Robin Hobb universe. A lot of these larger series like I I want to start Brent Weeks. Like there's a lot of fantasy authors that write a lot of epic series that I would want to read that I don't want to read Malazan just because people say I should. The next is is really a genre by a particular author and that is any Stephen King horror books. I will read Stephen King non-horror books, you know, like Green Mile or Shawshank Redemption or something like that. I'm mentioning those because those are two movies that happen to be some of my favorites made from his work, but I'm okay with like Stephen King in general. It's just Stephen King tends to write horror, right? And I will never, I will never, ever. I am not a horror person, I will never be a horror person, and I'm just not, I'm not gonna ever subject myself to that. So I see a lot of people reading through his works and stuff, and I'm like, more power to you, but like, I never want to be scared. I, I never want to live my life in a book being terrified, so I'm gonna not. Speaking of terrified, this thinking about Stephen King inspired me to think about another series, and that is the Diviner series by Ludwig Bray. I might have talked about this in my other video about series I'm not going to read, but I'm just going to reiterate it because her books come up pretty slowly, so like there's always, I feel like, a new one of hers coming out. And the Diviner series is scary, and I can't. And I, I know a lot of people, like sometimes when I mention the Diviner series, they'll be like, it's not that bad, but then like 90% of the people that respond are like, yeah, you probably shouldn't read it. So I'm just never, I'm never going to. It always appeals to me though, like I'm always like, oh, I like that setting and it looks like there's an angsty romance in there and like I kind of want to and then I'm like, no, you don't want to be terrified. It's just my kind of horror that would be really scary for me and it's just like, I, I'd rather not. So if you guys know of any like historical, maybe kind of fantasy series that take place in that same era that have like a band of characters and are similar in that way without the spoopiness, let your girl know. Another series much like Malazan that I'm never going to read. And this, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get so many angry men in my comments of this video. <laughs> Just know that I don't fucking care. And that is the Wheel of Time series. I know. So this is a very long series. I have a lot of friends that really enjoy it, and it's like one of the cornerstones of fantasy, along with Lord of the Rings, and blah, blah, blah. I do not want to read it, and I will not read it. I am not interested. I do not want to get into that long of a series. I know that it inspired a lot of writers, and it's inspired a lot of people in the genre, but because of that, and because of it being like a fairly older series, and very like long running, it's going to have a lot of the tropes that a lot of other series were inspired by, but it's going to have them still tropey because that was the, like, it's the originator of a lot of that stuff. I mean, not the originator, but like one of the, you know, famous series with that in it. So it's just going to be the kind of stuff that's like, it's not going to be fun for me at this point because it's going to be all the tropey stuff that I've come to expect. So yeah, I don't care. I don't want a chosen one plot. I don't want a bunch of dudes. I heard there's some good female characters. I don't care. I don't care that Brandon Sanderson is finishing, like, finished them off or is finishing them off. I know there's a huge fandom around this like series and a lot of people are like, you have to read it to be a fantasy fan. I do not care. There are 
other authors, again, just like Malazan, that I would rather be reading, other series I'd rather be reading. I have never once been interested in Wheel of Time, and no one can ever convince me to read it. I'm sorry, Sam, from Will Read for Boo specifically, but I'm only apologizing to her. The rest of you, I don't care. And if any of you are nasty in my comments, I'm going to delete them. I don't care about this series at all. The next series may come as a bit of surprise, and this is the Prince of Thorns series by Mark Lawrence, although it might have a different name to it. I love Mark Lawrence's Book of the Ancestor series. I also plan on reading some of his other series, and I plan on probably reading anything else that he comes out with in the future. I do not want to read this series because this is so grimdark, and the main character in here apparently is like a murdering rapist. Like, it's just like, I know for sure rapist, I think also murders a lot of people. Like, it's just like a bad dude. And I don't need to read a story in which the leaders of a world are rapists. Because we have that in our current society in lots of places. So I'm just not gonna read this. I'm sure it's well written. I'm sure I would like things about the world and all that. I really like Martin Lawrence's stuff. But I can just continue with this other grim dark and not go this grim and this dark. So I'm not going to. Then we'll finish it off with some YA series that may or may not surprise you. First we have the And I Darken series by Kirsten White. This is a duology, I think. I tried to read And I Darken for a long time. I was trying to listen to it on audio. I was going to pick it up. I've recently read some more things by Kirsten White, and I just don't think I like her writing very much. A lot of people have recommended this to me and thought that I would like it. It's like a lady villain, morally gray. But I am bored to tears <laughs> by this story, or at least what I've read of it, and I have no interest in picking it back up. And I, like I said, I just don't think I like Kirsten White's writing that much, so I don't plan on really reading anything by her, unless she really ropes me in with some kind of synopsis. But this series, I do not plan on trying again. Then we have the Warcross series trilogy duology by Maria Lu. This doesn't appeal to me in so many ways. One, I have not liked anything that I've read by Maria Lu. Another situation where I just don't think I like her writing style. The Young Elites series was the first thing that I ever read by her, and I should have loved that series. Like, should have, it, it should have been everything to me, and I did not like it at all. I, I could not get into it. I tried to, I read the, the first book twice in that series, like trying to really be motivated to read it. I just don't think I like her writing. And then Warcross is kind of pitched as like a YA Ready Player One. And I did not like Ready Player One either. So I'm just like, although these things should appeal to me and it's like a video game world and all this stuff, I'm just like, no, I'm not going to read it. It combines two things that I historically have not liked. I'm not going to subject myself to it. Then we have really any more Rochelle Mead books, but specifically The Vampire Academy. I think my time has passed on The Vampire Academy. At a certain point, I thought I might read The Vampire Academy, but a lot of people were like, oh, it has a really good romance in it, all this stuff. I think it's just going to be past its prime at this point. I know now, going back and reading older YA stuff, YA has like a short shelf life. Not always, but a lot of times, especially with the hyped stuff. It's just like so... Like, you can tell the writing style is, like, of a certain time. Like, I can go back and be like, this was written in 2012. Like, I can just tell. So I don't think that I can go back and read this. And then other books that I've read by her just haven't really been very good. So I do not plan on reading any other Rochelle Mead stuff, although she's, like, a big name in YA. I just could not care less for her stuff. And lastly, I think I've also mentioned this before, but why not just rub it in, right? I'm not going to read Ember in the Ashes. I read... The first book, it took me a long time. I read it with some friends. I tried so many times to read the second book. I had a physical copy. I also tried to read it on audio. I just could not care less. I only care about one character and that's Helene. And I just, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with her, but like, I just, I don't care that much. I don't really quite understand the like level of hype for this series. And yeah, I'm just not going to force myself yet again, like I've mentioned with a lot of these series, to read books just because they're like, part of the, you know, everyone's loving these, or they're part of the canon, or whatever. I don't care. There's other series that I want to read that I will probably enjoy more, so I'm not going to read them and subject myself to them just because people say I should. And that is it for my second installment of popular books or series, mostly series, that I don't think, don't plan on ever reading. Comment below, let me know some of yours. Again, watch my other video that's more extensive on a lot of books that I don't plan on reading, but 
recently I, there's a lot of that haven't really popped up and gotten in my face quite as much as some of these have over the years. So right now I don't feel quite as viscerally reactive towards a lot of series, but except for like the Malazan and Wheel of Time because everyone wants to get in your face about that and be really gatekeepy about being a fantasy fan. So comment below and let me know some series and books that you think that you will probably never get to. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!